Hey everyone, today we're going to do a new little watercolor exercise with some watercolors. You can either use the trays and take a little squirt of water and put it into each of them to make them very liquidy. Or you might have a container like this and you can take some liquid watercolor concentrate and you can pour it in like this and kind of mix it around to make like another red color. Okay. So those both would work to creating a, a more liquidy watercolor. Um, I also have a purple and a blue that I've already kind of mixed up uh, to go along. So getting started, write your name on your paper. Uh, liquid watercolor comes in lots of different brands. There's definitely Saks or uh, Coloration or there's other, uh, other ones that are out there. So let's get started today. I'm going to take my water dropper and I'm going to fill it up and I want to make uh, kind of some just like dots. Eventually I want to try to make them into like a dandelion. So I'm just going to put little dots around kind of in a circle shape where I can come back to them. And I'm going to use another tool in a second. So I could use just the same color or I can use a different color. Okay, so now almost all of it has dried, and so I'm just going to take uh, a little bit of the color that is in it, and I'm just gonna draw some like lines to kind of come in. And so if it's not liquidy enough, you could always uh, try just adding more water. I should have used the liquid one, I'll do that. And just kind of go like in and make some lines. It's going to the middle. And if you need to, you can always go back and make some more circles. But definitely get that line. So I'm gonna repeat that over here. And I'm just gonna add some of those lines, kind of all come into the center. You could even mix it up. You could use a little of a different one of the colors. You want to add just a little bit. This purple is just not going to make a little different with that red color. So just draw them in, and it's just kind of free flowing. If you wanted more of a straight line, you could take like a uh, piece of paper or something and print, make more of like a print. I'm just gonna go back through this one. I'm gonna have a little more overlap. And you could do some layers, like let it dry, and then go back. Um, I did that with some of the circles here. Oh, I got a little splat, but could do a little bit of splat in the background. That would be kind of cool. I dropped a couple of the red earlier, so kind of just add a little bit. Right, my brush, get a little more red. I got one over here. Don't want to have it too much, just enough. Wash it. And I got one more blue color, or two blues. that, but it's still 
all good. Coming out. Now again, I could add a little bit more if I wanted a little more blue in the background. Oh yeah, I have one more with the yellow over here. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit, but I think that looks pretty darn good for those pictures. If I want some more contrasting colors, I can like wait it till it dries, or I can just kind of sprinkle some of the paint around the outside, and that's just taking some really wet stuff and kind of tapping on your brush like this. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed making some dandelion art with a little bit of splat.